Welcome to today's Wednesday webinar. We're talking World Thinking Day 2018, specifically for cadets, seniors, and ambassadors. And we have in the room Tammy Fisher, our um, local guru on World Thinking Day and Global Action. And we're creating a series of webinars for all levels, both of World Thinking Day and Global Action. And we're posting them both on the YouTube channel, the GSME YouTube channel, and the GSME Volunteer Swap. So um, the reason we're doing both is so that you'll be able to share these webinars, if you like, with other parents from your troop or other members of your service unit. And I'll also be posting the slide decks as files in the GSME Volunteer Swap in case you'd like to use them as some notes. Um, super handy. Uh, it's really going to set you up to do some wonderful World Thinking Day activities with your girls. So, so welcome, Tammy. Thanks for logging in. Thank you. Uh, glad to be here. I'm always glad to have you. Let's let's jump into this. So, World Thinking Day. Tell us all about it. So, World Thinking Day happens on February 22nd, and it is a day where Girl Scouts all over the world and Girl Guides all over the world actually celebrate World Thinking Day. And I just realized it says 146 countries, but now we are 150 countries. Wow, yay us. Where did the other four come from? Um, at the last conference, they voted in four more countries. Nice. And I can't think of exactly which four countries they were, but I just saw that right now. Oh, that's wonderful. So, um, and the Girl Guys and Girl scouts all over the world think of the same theme each year we um there's a different theme every year but we all think of the same thing and this year's theme is impact yay and the theme was defined as having a strong effect on someone or something and as you said we're hoping it's a positive impact <laughs> exactly because we are girl scouts right <laughs> So World Thinking Day 2018, um, it, we, we will be thinking about what it means to make an impact on the world. All right. Which is, and you know, what a great topic, especially for those cadets, seniors, and ambassadors who are just hungry to make a difference. Um, and they have such a funny way of expressing that hunger, but <laughs> especially cadets. Um, but they they really just are so hungry to make a difference and to be valuable. Um, and so this is a great way to help them um, have, be valuable and to recognize their personal value in their community. So keep going. All right. So I want to make sure that everyone understands that the World Thinking Day award is an award it's not a patch it goes on the front of the uniform meaning the vest or the sash just like a, a badge would so this is the official one it's not given out at the normal thinking day events unless you do one of the requirements that are found on the website that we're going to go over here shortly so again it goes on the front of the vest because it is an award all right, Don, let's go see the requirements. Look. There it is. I like this graphic. It makes me happy. So World Thinking Day, this is the, the GSUSA website, girlscouts.org, in case you're looking for it just on your own and not by going through um, the slide deck. And if you scroll down, you see that for Daisy's Brownies Juniors, there's a drop down, and for cadets, seniors, and ambassadors, there's a drop down with suggested activities um, for you to engage in to earn World Thinking, the World Thinking Day Award. So did you have a favorite among these, Tammy? Um, I actually like the first one, but because it's different. Uh -huh. um, keep in mind, you only have to do one of these activities to earn the award. They're very lengthy, uh, meaning wordy, but they aren't that difficult to do. Right. Um, first one, Although it's February, Maine, it's going to be cold and everything. I like the first one because it talks about power. And what you're supposed to do is go take a walk or a hike or something. And you're supposed to draw something that reminds you of power. Um, whether it's your internal power or what power you think you might have 
where you want to gain some type of power of yourself, your power symbol. All right. That's very something cool. That, I like that one. Yeah, something that makes you feel strong, makes you want to make a difference, inspires you, something you're passionate about, you know, something. Right. And then what happens is all the girls in the troop are supposed to take their power symbol and put it on a large piece of paper together. So it's like a large collage of all these power symbols. Awesome. All right. Or you can make a video with each girl describing her power symbol or that type of stuff. I like the collage thing so that you can kind of put it up. Yeah. Um, wouldn't it be great if you could paint it on, you know, a canvas? Each girl paint like a section of her power symbol on a canvas. Yeah. Or something very cool. Like well, you know, the funny thing that I was thinking of when you were started reading this. Um, when I was in Washington, D.C. earlier this year, I went to a craft fair and this woman had she likes to sew. And so her thing was she made art um, out of cloth and um, she sort of peeped in cityscapes where the the buildings were different types of fabric, but they looked like buildings. It looked like she'd drawn a cityscape. And then she used a, a black thread and a straight stitch and she sewed in power lines, like electrical lines, telephone pole lines. And it was so cool because I, I like to sew myself and I love fiber arts, but I don't necessarily think of them as art. Um, or traditionally, I haven't thought of them as art, but she had taken the thing that she loved to do and she turned it into art that you would hang on your wall. And um, and then, you know, the whole idea of power and electricity and how valuable that is to us anymore with our devices. And um, that all just kind of was a vision for me there. But I'm going to have to find pictures of her stuff because it was very cool. So that is that is a neat one. I love the idea of having of the girls coming up with a power symbol because that even gives them the freedom to um, use something that's real in the world or to create a symbol, not unlike Prince's symbol when he was formerly known as Prince, you know, his caduceus or whatever that was. Um, but something that, that makes them feel powerful. That's awesome. And the collage idea, just putting them all together and you know, finding some way to link them by theme or um, something so that the girls really see their individual powers as well as their group power. If it right. And then you start talking about with them, when you combine all these powers, what you can accomplish. Right. And think about combining all the powers of the world and what you can accomplish, you know? Right. So it's all about impact. You know, what impact can we have? Well, if you have kids who are into superheroes, the Justice League is, would be an example of a combination of individual powers. So, um, and I'm totally basing that on the cartoon from the 70s because I haven't seen the film, nor do I really intend to. But, but you know, the, the Justice League cartoon <laughs> in the 70s with Aquaman could manage the water stuff while Superman was flying and Batman was climbing up the buildings and Wonder Woman was blocking those those bullets and, and using her lasso of truth. And, you know, they just, they collaborated to get to success. <laughs> oh, all about collaboration. Let's see. And so, so ah. number one is an awesome one. Number two, teaming up with an adult. Number two is you're supposed to look up and read about different women who've had a major impact on different parts of the world, um, not just locally, but, you know, our country, different parts of the world. Mm -hmm. And what I like about this one is how does she inspire you? Um, and then you're basically supposed to take all these women that each girl brings together mm -hmm. and do something with them. Again, either make a collage, and what I like is either make a poem, how about a song, how about a dance, you know, be creative, you have to do exactly what it says, think beyond what it says. Wouldn't it be fun to have a song where each verse was a different woman, you know, and the, the troupe came up with uh, different verses for each of the women that, that stood out for the girls. I love that idea right. of, of creating a showcase. Wouldn't that be cool at a service team meeting if all the older girls created um, some some 
presentation, some kind of um, a display about these women that they admired. And it was just all around the service unit meeting, uh, service unit leader meetings for the younger girl leaders to see as well as the older girl leaders to see. Because I think um, it's so easy for us to get caught up in what's happening in our own troops. It's it's easy to forget how powerful we are all, all are together. And so if we look at that that bigger sisterhood, we it, just like we get the uh, the effect of the impact in our troop with people grouping together, when you see the bigger sisterhood and how much of an impact that is, it just it's mind boggling and beautiful. Well, look in the number three, we've got some Swahili. This is a word you got to take a run at, isn't it? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I think Sagadahawk is hard to say, but um, tush, tush, right. I'm going to have to find it and get it pronounced online because I don't want to say it wrong. Um, but is this the same as with the younger girls where they come up with, yes, a corresponding movement for each of the words? Um, right. It's very much like the younger ones. Um, but the big part of this one, I think, is the first paragraph where you talk about the diversity. Right. All right. Um, because, you know, it's interesting, especially here in the state of Maine, um, sometimes the diversity isn't as much as it is in other parts. Right. You know, there are parts of Maine that are very diverse, and there are parts of Maine that are not quite as diverse. Well, and it, it so it's great on how you're defining diversity, because, you know, some folks would say, well, we've got uh, a mostly lobster men, but then we have a couple of bakers. <laughs> And so that's diversity. Or we have people from lots of different heritages and um, backgrounds and whose people come from all over the world. So, yeah, it's defining diversity within your community and then looking at diversity across the larger community in the world. I think this opens up to a lot of conversation. Um, because you Yes, can then, they play the last, then they play a game and then they they can put these words to movement, um, to dance, that type of stuff. Neat. That, that is cool. Um, especially, I, I just love the idea of putting words to movement. And so every time the word is said, everybody does that movement. And it's something that you could pull back, um, you know, two weeks later or four weeks later at another meeting, say, hey, Tuchese, and, and have everybody get up and do the movement for it. And um, some people wouldn't remember it, but most of them would. And, you know, just shouting out the word. and Use it as sort of a touchstone to remind everybody, oh, remember this thing we did? What were we talking about when we did that? Right, we were talking about diversity. And we did that for World Thinking Day. Why did we do it for World Thinking Day? Oh, because blah, blah, blah. But um, that whole thing of learning and making learning stick where we have to experience something and then we have to come back to it on occasion so that we can hold on to it and, and make it part of our fabric. And then let's see, number four, make an impact on the world by going on a Girl Scout leadership journey and creating a take action project. Nice. Right. Again, that is just a take action project. That does not mean that you need to complete a program journey like um, one of the journey books like so what or that type of stuff it's a take action project you're supposed to use the philosophy that we do in a journey um, so you're supposed to look for something in your community that the girls feel very passionate about something that addresses something very important to the girls um, you know, and create a sustainable systemic change around it, not just collect food for the food kitchen one time, but create a system that that's going to continue on. That's that's a thing right. that defines it as a take action project. It's a systemic change that's going to leave a lasting impact. Oh, there it is um, on the community. Right. And then here, number five, this is a different one. So talk to your parents or guardians about amplifying your voice or deepening your impact by becoming a you reporter. You report is a social social messaging platform that allows anyone anywhere to speak out and be heard on issues they care about. More than three million young people have already registered as you reporters, including thousands of Girl Guides and Girl Scouts. With permission from your parent or guardian, as a you reporter, you can share your experiences and recommendations with world leaders and national and local decision makers by responding to weekly polls through your cell phone. 
The You Report team will write to you to let you know about the impact your voice is having this way, and you'll see the difference you're making in the world. We'll also ask you to share your views with us so that we can continually improve our work and ensure that Girl Scouting is always girl led. Interesting. Yeah, it's quite, um, this is something new that is starting out, and you're going to see a lot more of, of the You Reporter coming out. Huh. Um, different global issues like the Day of the Girl, um, different global things, um, different global days, um, the Day of Volunteering. They're always going to be coming out with something on You Reporter about what did you do during this day? What do you think of this issue? What do you, you think we should tell the leaders, like the UN leaders, that type of stuff. Nice. And um, if you see down here, include WTD in your message and the poll will be activated and you'll start receiving questions. And then you can share it and hashtag um, Girls Voices Matter and WTD. I'm just gonna click on this to see what it all looks like. So this is taking me to the Facebook you report. Your voice matters. Join the U Report community. Okay, and it even invites me to ask a question if I have it. With 72,000 people, including my friend Sandy Soltz, are on here. Neat. I'll close that out. Oh, then, okay. Dun 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 dun. Interesting. So yes, like the World AIDS Thinking Day, there would have been a U Reporter on that. Nice. It would have came up and asked a couple questions on that. Cool. Let's use photos. Girls are unsafe. Um, your reporters told us about violence and harassment impacts their lives. Oh, and you know, this is, this is a topic that may be an issue for your girls. Um, it's one of those sensitive topics. So if you discuss it in your troop, please do give parents a heads up um, that you plan to discuss it. Or if it comes up, unplanned, please give parents a heads up that this was discussed in the group and um, make sure that everybody feels comfortable that the conversation happened and um, and that their girls are in a, a good place with the conversation. But neat. So a connection in the world um, and an opportunity for girls to stand on a box and, and say what they think, respond to surveys. Cool. Okay. So that would make it really easy to do. You could actually do two because you could become a U reporter and then ask every girl individually can become a U reporter. And then as a group, you could do one of the other ones. Oh, cool. Yeah. Neat. And so I, yeah, super empowering, I think. Yes. Yes. So can we go to the next slide? Let's do. So remember, to earn the activity, you only need to be going, doing, to earn the award, you only need to do one activity. Right. But really, as you saw, it's fairly easy to do one or more activities, especially right. with that unique order. Right. Well, and um, for cadet seniors and ambassadors, often um, they grasp things pretty fast, and, and some of those activities could kind of be meshed. You know, there could be some overlap. So um, working with your girls. Now, some service units put on World Thinking Day activities. In fact, often cadet senior and ambassador troops will host World Thinking Day activities for a service unit. So that is something to consider. We are just about at the two months out mark. So if it's something that your troop is interested in hosting, um, you do need to get on that pretty quickly. And... Um, the next scheduled CEO planning workshop is not until January 2nd, but I might I might be sticking one in before the holidays just because I've had a couple of requests. Um, so if I do, I'll post that on the GSME volunteer swap uh, if that's something that your girls are interested in participating in so that they could host a World Thinking Day award, uh, a World Thinking Day event. And Miss Tammy, you've got a thing coming up that's a statewide event, right? Yes, so if you go to the next slide. Okay. Oh, did you give me another link? No. No. So we have an event for all older girls, cadet seniors and ambassadors, on February 21st through the 23rd. It's two overnights. It includes all lodging, and it includes their World Thinking Day Award, their Global Action Award, 
and their WAGS World Thinking Day Challenge. Nice. So they're going to earn three awards on that, and they're going to complete an activity, of course, one of these for their World Thinking Day. They're going to complete one of the activities for Global Action, and they're going to complete all the activities for the World Thinking Day Challenge from WAGS. Nice. And it'll be at Brooks in Maine, and you can register in eBiz. Right, I was gonna, I'm taking us there yeah. right now. <laughs> yeah. Please do. To okay. get the discount, you need to register by February, I mean, December 20th. Okay. Um, there it is, right there, see? And Brooks, this one right here. Right there. There are 92 spots available. Wow, and that's a pretty good deal for two nights lodging and food, $23? It doesn't okay. include food. The, the food, what we're going to do with food is after we find out how many people we're, we're, are attending, uh -huh. we're going to do what's called a sign-up genius. So each troop can bring, you know, if they're going to have mac and cheese, right. each troop can sign up for maybe one troop will bring the macaroni and one troop will bring the cheese, um, one troop will bring bagels or, you know, that type of stuff. Nice. Almost like a potluck, a collaborative meal system. Right. Cool. But still, two days lodging for $23. Right. And all you have to bring is your sleeping bag, and all the program supplies will be provided, and plus all the awards will be provided. Nice. That's wonderful. And the girls will earn both the World Thinking Day badge and the Global Action Award. Oh, and the and Challenge badge, too. Cool. Right. Very cool. So definitely, if you've got teen girls, sign up. And what does the price go to after the 20th? Then it goes up to 28, I believe. Still. I would have to. Yeah. Yeah. It's still a really good price. That's terrific. Um, and registration closes January 10th. So don't delay. Um, get signed up for this. That's, that is a wonderful opportunity for those teen girls. Yes, and it's all going to be girl-led. Um, we're, we're holding a planning workshop this weekend to finish up our schedule and which activities. Now that GSUSA has all their requirements out, we're figuring out which activities we're going to do. We're looking at any guest speakers we're going to have and things like that. And this is being planned by a committee of mostly girls, right? Yes, it is. <laughs> cool. Um, here's a question for you. Uh, what is the question? I just had it. Oh, um, do people have to attend as a troop or can girls just come without being, um, without troop leaders and stuff? Girls can attend without troop leaders because we will have enough adults there to cover the ratio. Nice. So if you're a troop leader and you're like, yeah, I can't go, um, that's okay. Still tell your girls about it because they can go. Um, they'll just need a ride up there, but, but they can go without any grownups um, because there are plenty of grownups who are going to be there. Great. That is awesome. We'll make sure to push that on the volunteer swap as well, um, separately from this too. So people remember because I would hate people to miss out on this opportunity. Okay. And we're, ho we're hoping to contact one of the world centers and talk to them during we're hoping to talk to them live nice. about like World Center and different things like this. So very cool. So a lot. That that is great. And you you've been to two of the World Centers, right? You've been to the chalet and to um, Pax Lodge. Yes, I have. Nice. nice. That's all right. What do we? What else do we have? And that—that that is what we've got for cadet seniors and ambassadors for World Thinking Day. So, um, please share the information with the girls in your troop and, or with the other leaders in your service unit. We've also we will also have posted the uh, World Thinking Day for Daisies, Brownies, and Juniors on both the YouTube channel and on the Volunteer Swap. So, send people to whichever one is right, and then. We're just about to record Global Action Award webinars for both the younger girls and for the older girls. So, so many exciting things coming up with WAGS. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.